Bismillah ve salatu ve selam ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve men ve ala. Allah says in Surat al-Baqarah Ya eyyuhal lezine amanu kutiba aleykum as-siyamu kama kutiba ala lezine min qablikum la'allakum tattakun That O you who believe Allah is addressing the believers Fasting has been prescribed for you and in order that we don't feel that this is an immense burden and something truly difficult as it has been prescribed for those who came before you. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ In order that you may attain taqwa, that you may attain piety, that you may attain God consciousness. So this verse teaches us that there is a relationship between fasting and between attaining taqwa. And if we look at the linguistic meaning of the word fasting, imsak, to refrain from something, is that we learn something about the essential nature of taqwa is that taqwa is about refraining. Yes, it is also about doing, but it is about refraining. It is about refraining from doing things that are displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is about refraining from those egotistical impulses and the and demonic insinuations that will then, that prevent us from also doing some other type of good. So in the madrasa of Ramadan, is that it is a practical way for us to learn taqwa because we get used to leaving something that is permissible. And by getting used to leaving something that is beloved to us, that is permissible for us to do, is that it prepares us then to be able to have taqwa in other aspects of our life. And that if we can learn to restraint, and we can learn to abstain, and we can learn this great lesson from this blessed month, is that when we transition out of Ramadan, is that we will find is that we will be successful not only in our religious life, but also in our worldly life because self-constraint is one of the greatest traits that we can have that will benefit us through and through in all of our endeavors and everything that we do that may we learn that the relationship between fasting and between taqwa and may Allah Ta'ala bless us to be from the elect of those who fast and from the elect of the people of taqwa wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen